Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I'm going to give you an overview of National Geographic's Map Maker tool. Let's go ahead and take a look at it. You'll find it at mapmaker.nationalgeographic.org. And I'm already signed into my account. Accounts are free. Let's create a new map. Now, this tool is a little different than a Google Maps type of tool in that here we're looking to display layers of information, layers of data, and we're not going to be making interactive place markers, although we can add some custom place marks on the map. They're not interactive or multimedia the way that Google Maps or Google Earth is. So let's first of all give this map a title. Let's call it my demo map for lack of a better term right now, or lack of a better name right now. And we can see here we've got all kinds of different layers of information that we can display on the map. We can add in latitude and longitude lines, tornadoes, all kinds of different things we can add in here. Renewable energy capacity, tectonic plate boundaries. Let's go ahead and add that one in. And so that will show up here on our map now with our tectonic plate boundaries. And if we want to, we can adjust the opacity of those lines and the map, or we can leave it as is. Now, I should also point out that you can change the map base map. So I'm going to switch from the default light gray here to, let's say, our National Geographic boundaries and we can see those boundaries are still here our tectonic plate boundaries are still on the map even though we have changed the base layer now we can also go up here and we can add in as i mentioned little points on the map and so in my case here i might add in a little title for my students and call this one main and say this is where we live. Can you see how far we are from the tectonic plate boundaries? This is why we don't typically experience earthquakes. And so we'll add those in. And I'll save that little place mark. Now, if I want to swap it out and I want to put in something else, let's put in maybe some volcanoes. Well, now we have a volcano layer that we can add onto the map. And we can see all the volcanoes and all the tectonic plates right along the map here. Now I can go back if I want to switch out that map setting and make it back into this light gray. So perhaps it's a little easier for my students to find the boundaries and find the vol volcano markers. I can do that as well. Now I'm going to close the map settings and let's take a look at how we can share this map with our students. Let's click on menu and we can save a copy, which I'm going to do. And let's just call it tectonic plates and volcanoes. And we'll save it. And so that's gonna make a copy and I'll save it in my account. And then I'm going to share it with my students here. Let's go back up to our menu and I can share the map in a couple of ways here. Let's hit that share button. We can give students a direct link to it. And I might put that link in Google Classroom, Microsoft Teams, or any other learning management system that you want to use. Copy the link that way. Or we can go to the menu and we can export the map. And we can export it here as a PDF or JPEG or any of these other file formats that we want to use. And let's call it Again, tectonic plates 
and volcanoes. And then I can export it. You can see here we have some extra options to set our scale if we want to and include the legend as I've done there. And let's export that as a PDF. So that's how you can create maps using National Geographic's Map Maker. As always, for more things like this, please check out freetechforteachers.com or subscribe to my YouTube channel.